All right, everybody. Uh, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is we're back with a new episode today. The bad news is I lost an entire episode of this of this series. Um, and by lost it, I mean I recorded it. And it did not, did not properly save. Uh, okay, let me rephrase. Uh, it wasn't that the game. It wasn't the game's fault. It was entirely my fault. Uh, I recorded essentially just. Is that gonna get that grass? Okay, it did. I. <laughs> I recorded essentially just my voice, <laughs> which I did not think would make a particularly entertaining YouTube video. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to salvage things here with this episode and try to get us back on track. Um, if you recall, this little section here was a mistake. I uh, last harvest, so I'm getting this squared away. I believe this field down here is going to be a different. Well, it'll be whatever I decide to make the field next to it, probably crop wise, but it is not going to return to being a grass field and it's not going to become a potato patch because. Uh, well, you know what, I'm going to finish this and then I'll show you the potatoes set up down at the other end. So I ended up having to get a new tractor last episode. I tried to put, well, the, in the episode that doesn't exist, that, that I didn't save. Um, I tried to put the potato planter on the smaller case tractor and it was not having it. Uh, it, it was not having it at all. So, because I need this tractor for subsoiling, I thought, what the heck, let's go get ourselves another tractor. And I found an international that I will show you here very soon. But I think this field will be fine. I don't know quite what we're going to put in it, but I think this field will be fine. It struggled in the, in the first time it had grass that was like from the map you know like it was originally a grass field which is why it shows up on the mini map the way it does it looks like a grass field still I'm hoping that by putting an arable crop in it will be in good shape but uh, you never know so we're gonna come down here to the middle of the field and I'm gonna hire a worker so that this can get done while I'm working in the other field. Alrighty, that looks close enough to straight to me. Um, okay, here it is. So here's the potato setup. We got that much done in the episode that you didn't get to see but here's our international it, it's the model is a 766 but you can <laughs> you can upgrade it sorry about that I was so excited to show you the tractor that I lost track of going straight it's kind of a bear I'll be honest uh, the horsepower of the tractor is like 145 and the planter requires 140 or something along those lines so it's very close to being sufficient I, I put duels on it but even with having duels on it the front end is a little bit too light and so if you see me oversteering it that's why I'm trying to compensate and if you look at this when you pick up the planter it doesn't seem to be quite as bad now that I used most of the seeds but it was it was straight up like lifting the front end off of the ground. 
now that there are fewer seeds, it's not quite so bad. But is it going to? Yeah, there we go. So I think we'll be able to do one more down and back, but that's probably about it. The seed usage is fairly high with these potatoes. So we're going to have to get some herbicide and zap these. I only want to do this once if I can help it. Oh, that's interesting. Look at this thing dance. 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 Uh, I already took a picture of this tractor for one of the episodes, but we'll do it again. The, the, the lighting was weird in the last one, so we'll get, a, we'll get a fresh one here. Hope everybody's doing well. I know this is uh, a little bit of a different style. One thing I'm considering doing, I don't know if you guys want to weigh in on this, but one thing I'm considering doing is essentially shortening the videos. Uh, I like to watch some of my favorite farm sim YouTubers when they have, you know, 20 to 30 minute videos with 25 being the sweet spot, sit down, grab a cup of coffee or a drink, depending upon the time of day or night that you're watching, just put your feet up and relax. It's like playing, but you're not having to play and you get to enjoy all the fun of the feedback loop of, you know, watching them grow their farm and you get to tune in next week and see a little bit more progress. And my thought I've always said is if I make it so that I'm not releasing too much content, then people feel like they can follow the story. You know, this is a story. It's saving the farm. We're, we're here to save this farm on Midwest Horizon that you know uses this older vintage equipment and they're trying to make it work and I like that idea you know I think there's an inherent rooting kind of thing you know you're like rooting for the farm to do well but we know things happen along the way like oh we need potatoes for the pig so we have to get extra equipment for that and these are all aspects of farming that I think make the story pop. But, you know, I have the ability to look at watch time and I'm able to look at the statistics on how many people are clicking on the videos and all of that. And it, I wish that there was a better way to know, like, what the average farm sim viewer is really looking for. I think there are some farm sim YouTubers that are very technical and you know they'll talk about nitty gritty specifics on the equipment specs and I definitely am not that guy I, I have no mechanical background or interest I like the game. I like the feedback loop in the game. I like the way the game looks. I like the the fun of it, and I like the the challenge behind kind of creating your own farm with its own story. But if other people aren't really into that, I need to reconceptualize the way that I create content for the game. Okay, so that's, oops, wrong button. We're gonna go ahead to the least items and return that thing. I think there might be something about this field, honestly, because my case was jittering in this field as well. How many frames, sorry, I know people don't really care about the technical recording stuff, but I had 60 frames, 60 frames. Yeah, it doesn't really hurt the FPS. What if I slow down and then drive? No, it's fine. Now we're down to 40, 38. Yeah, that was weird. We just 
hit some spots there. That was 41, 38, yeah, 39 frames in the midst of all this stuff. So anyways, we now have uh, this 1466 International and this 856 International. This 1466 has a lot more horsepower. So it, it should be useful around the farm. This old case is working on getting our subsoiling done in this field. We already have this field done. So I think we're going to try the other case. You know what? I lied. I think we are going to use this tractor. on the Kinsey planter. Does the Kinsey, does this one do grass is the question. Which we should be able to answer directly. Oh, there we go. So we're going to put our grass field in now. And then we'll use, we'll try this, the little case that I put in here. We'll try that one on the sprayer. So let's go ahead and we'll leave a little bit of space between them. Did I just turn it off or on? It appears to be planting. Oh, I forgot this one fertilizes too. I could have filled the fertilizer. Well, we, we can spray a field this size pretty quickly with this setup. So let's try our, our best to keep things straight. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's zap that too while we're at it. Is that straight at all? Looks like, looks like I need to. Let's just pick a, a row here. Let's take, let's take that one. Try to concentrate on this a little bit. So yeah, if you guys could could weigh in and just kind of let me know. I mean, if you're still watching at the 13 minute mark, then that mean you know, then you're the kind of people I want to be listening to. And if you feel like, hey, this this series is good and it's something that you look forward to, but there are things about it you want me to change. Like, I know Daggerwin is an example of somebody that I like to watch, and he has time lapses for stuff like this. Um, there's a little bit of a technical difference there between <laughs> between him and I that I would have to to learn a little bit about how to do that and you always have the concerns with the music you know he uses a service so that the music that he uses doesn't get DMCA'd and that would be a concern for me because I don't have a thousand subs yet I don't make any money so I don't have money to reinvest in things like a music service so it's kind of a catch-22 should I invest in something like that would that be the difference? Like, if I had in a 20 minute episode two different time lapses for a minute or two so that I advanced the storyline more, would I go from 20 viewers on an episode to 200? Is it worth it? Probably not. But if I go from 20 viewers on an episode to 2,000 because of it, then it probably is worth it. Um, but I don't know what that quotient would be. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know what that number would be. And I don't know. It's probably worth it to try. And this this actually plants slower than I thought. But the nice thing about grass is you don't have to replant it. This will just be this will be our grass field for chop. Uh, silage rather. 
and hay bales. That's the first thing we want to do is make hay bales. Because we want hay for our TMR. Uh, we'll probably invest a good portion of the next crop into buying more cows. We want to be basing our farm's economic success on the cattle, pretty much. I don't mind growing some soybeans for profit here and there, but I want the milk to be our, our biggest steady income. I think that's overlapping a little bit too much there. I kind of wish we would have gotten a little bit more potatoes in, but beggars can't be choosers. So. I think this this tractor is just the right size for what we needed, kind of a middle of the road, not not another big huge high horsepower, but also not another little puddle jumper. I'm actually really surprised at that eight. What did I say it was? Eight fifty six that we have. I I really thought it would be. A little stronger than it is. Uh, it'll have some jobs though. Hopefully we can maybe rake with it. I should look and see if I could make it narrow front end. That would be kind of fun. Have a tractor like that as a narrow front end. You can make this one narrow front end. And that, that may be what I end up doing is swapping out that 856 for another older tractor just because there's a lot of them and if that one if I feel like I'm gonna barely use it then it would be worth it to find another older mod if you can't tell I you know I I do tend to like them red so I might keep my eyes open for another actually I have a I have a mod for a 1206 that would be real handy on this farm. I re I was so excited to find the mod, and I put it on the farm I was doing at the time, which was a Seasons version where I started my own farm on New Woodshire. And I really like that farm. I just never play it because right now I'm only running basically two saves. I have this one going for YouTube, and I have one with European equipment on Geiselsberg that I've been playing on Twitch. And that's that's it. I've been playing other games on nights that I'm not playing Farm Sim, which is, you know, good for my mental health and everything. <laughs> I can't I love to play Farm Sim, but I can't play it every day. I would play it every day, but it's good for me to have a little bit of variety. Anyways, I say that to say I had that 1206, and it was really good. I had one 1206 that was not super good, and then I found one that somebody had done with a little more detail, a little more bells and whistles, and I really liked it. it it's like the workhorse on that farm, but again, I haven't really played that farm for a while. I don't know if that would make a good YouTube series, or if I should just... Make that one of my darlings that I keep for myself. You know, I don't know. Hope the subsoiling in the other field is going well. I wonder how this will do with a worker. I'll probably do that next episode have a worker try to finish this job. I wonder if they'll be able to get turned around with this setup. If I had my guess, I would say <laughs> they'll probably do that thing where they get stuck going in circles and I'll have to finish the job, but that's okay. I definitely had worse, worse jobs. 
So yeah, once I get this whole field done, we will herbicide and fertilize the whole thing. Alright everybody, thanks so much for watching. My name is Bluebelly. I play simulation games and apparently tractor dancing simulator. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.